spoiler alert, are you ready for a behind the scenes look at the latest episode? Make sure you're all caught up on the new season of Little Big World. Happy birthday, dear Jackson. Happy birthday to you. What you didn't see at Jackson's party was the barn we chose. We were going to do it at the wedding barn, but then last minute we chose to do it in the red barn, mm -hmm. which is actually our production barn. But since we just started filming and we hadn't gotten the production barn running, and now is where we used to do all of our parties. My yeah. mom did Jeremy's and my parties in this barn. So it was kind of fun using that barn again. Childhood And we memories. haven't been able to do that for 12, 14 years because that's where production is. Mm -hmm. Are you roasting a marshmallow? <laughs> Jackson was actually super shy. Everyone was there. He didn't want... Which he never... He like... He always wants mama, and he was like, even me, because I was going around to people talking, and he yeah, was just like, no. And he's daddy's little boy, okay? Oh, he just like daddy held on to Daddy does not him. do social events, okay? Daddy stands away from the crowd. Yeah. Daddy does not go where all the people are, yeah. okay? And he's like, I'm going to follow you. He didn't want grandma holding him, grandpa, mom. Mom, I couldn't even hold him at his birthday party, because yeah, he was he just, just so wanted like... To, he's like, I'm with you, dad, okay? Because... Yeah. <laughs> He was a little overwhelmed. It he took him like it took him like a solid hour for him to finally be like, oh, this is actually kind of fun. People are here for me and like I get presents and But stuff. it's my favorite part about the whole situation yeah. I'm like, oh, now I have a partner. Now instead of like Troy being like, Zach, why aren't you with the party? Why aren't yeah. you hanging out with everyone? Oh, I'm, here with I'm literally, oh, where's Zach and Jackson? Yeah, yeah yes. <laughs> instead of just me, I'm not in yeah. trouble. I'm with, I'm with Jackson. I'm playing yeah. with Jackson. Yeah. So I love it. It gives me an excuse to excuse myself from the social setting. <laughs> oh dear. Apparently we ran out of food. Hopefully everyone ate. Did you guys eat? We ran out. I bought 30 burgers and 30 hot dogs and they're gone. Yeah, we ran out of food at the party. It was just like one of those like... It's one of those things, man. What did you just do? I just wanted to make sure we have enough. It's better to have too much and not enough. It's just one of those things. It's one man. of those things that the husband just didn't listen to the wife. Tori hasn't eaten. Your mom hasn't eaten. Oh, crap. Chris hasn't eaten. Tori's mom hasn't eaten. Tori's always I right Tori, about no, 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 come no. on. Give Tori her some credit here. Tori could be right here. about party planning, but there, sometimes it's too right. Like, if it was up to her, we would have 16 extra burgers, 14 extra, like, Yeah, that you this, freeze and you cook no them control, later. There's no control. There's no self-control. Oh, give me And then for me, me I have too yeah. much, like, like you have too much self-control. Too much like <laughs> minimalism, but she has too much like, let's buy the whole grocery store, you know, and have 16 different options for everybody. No, you just need Well, how many times do you go to a party and they have and chips, like, one thing to choose from? The only time that's acceptable is if it's pizza, because everyone loves pizza. You always want too much food. You don't want not enough food. No, you want too, you want enough no. drinks and bathrooms, no. No. and you want things to start on time. Food is optional. This is why Zach doesn't plan parties. I think that's how. No one would eat and everyone would be drunk. 100% <laughs> people would love it. <laughs> oh yeah, let's dent the walls up. Keep going. Who needs to sell this house? Well, Argyle was my first house and I did not include Tori in the decision making of this purchase. <laughs> so I think Tori was always ready to buy a house together. Yeah, when you first bought the house, I hated it. You didn't include me in the process, so it was kind of like, I don't Zach's like this house. house and like it wasn't my home. But I do feel like once we I were only dating in, then, so it was totally like we were dating for five years at that point. But but this was a huge business decision. So apparently, or it was a huge investment, I should say. We did not have it was like a my dad called me up, boom, that day at the house, yeah. bought it that day. You know, and we were all looking. It was the neighborhood, location, location, location. No concern for anything else. I think we love the house. One story, you know, nice. So easy to clean. I could clean that entire house in like yeah. an hour. It was only 1,300 square feet, and so. It was a nice starter with home. With a one-year-old and two grown adults, it was kind of, it got it was small quickly. It was very, very nice starter home. It was. So, well, that brings us to the farm. We'll have to figure out, keep plugging away on this. Mm-hmm. We've still gotta, we've gotta pick a deadline and then live to it, you know, and make a decision. Yeah, future of the farm. You know, yeah, my mom and dad kind of have to make a decision on how they're going to run it and own it and, yeah, or if they're going to sell it or if maybe my mom moves off or my dad moves off or... I think if someone does buy the whole thing, they're not going to be someone that wants to maintain what we already have. It's probably going to be a developer or someone, like, that wipes it and then... Yeah. Which is super sad. It'll take a very, very unique person to buy it that would want to maintain kind of what my dad's and my mom's done.